Hey guys, welcome back to new video and in this video we're going to discuss differences between state flow and shared flow. Let's get started with our video and deep dive in it with proper examples. So first thing, both are hot flows. That means it can start emitting values. It doesn't matter whether you have attached collector to any of them or not. Even if no one is listening, it start emitting the values. Now the main difference between state flow and shared flow is how they behave when we attach a new collector to them. Let's discuss this thing with an example. So for that, this is my basic project and in this I'm going to create a view model because view model is the place where you can see the clear cut differences between shared flow and state flow. So for that, I'm going to create here a counter view model extend this thing with view model and on the top of it i'm going to create here two things first we'll have a data class naming ui state which holds our ui state value so is loading boolean is false and we have our counter integer initial value is zero make sure to use your immutable just below to it i'm having a sealed interface naming ui event and in this UI event, we have only one data object. So toast instead of making this object, just convert this thing in a form of class so that we can also pass the message. Use UI event and one more seed interface naming action, which holds all of the action which we want to perform for our, our composable screen. So we have here only one action increment counter. Now within our counter view model, we will create a UI state. It is a mutable state flow. So mutable flow, state flow or state flow is designed just to hold the UI state values within our view model. Now make sure because it's a straight flow and straight flow always require an initial value. So we'll pass our UI state in it and simply convert this thing in a form of uh, state flow so that no one can change its value outside from this uh, view model next we will create a mutable shared flow now shared flow is used when you want to handle only one time events with state flow it is not the case we will discuss it later what is the main difference between them why we are using mutable shared flow with ui events but not with ui state and why we are using mutable state flow with ui state but not single time ui event so for that let's use your private variable and i'm gonna call it ui event use your mutable shared in mutable shared flow it doesn't want any kind of initial value so just mention the type which is ui event next we'll have here our ui event naming variable which is a shared flow not a mutable shared flow so that no one can update it outside from this composable just below to it we have on action naming function and in this we will pass our action which we have already been created over here we have only one action increment counter so it simply increment the counter so when action at the remaining branches if it is a case of increment counter we will use our ui state in this we have a function name update in update will receive the current value now we'll use our current value and make sure is loading is false and my counter is just updated with one so it counter plus one okay one more thing i want to show a loader so to do that use ui state update it copy make sure is loading is true and just below to it i'm going to introduce a delay of one second now delay suspendable function so make sure to use your view model scope dot launch to launch a new coroutine all right so this is my action so we are done with the incrementation now it's time to show a toast we want to show this toast only one time we do not want to show the toast again and again when users just change the orientation from portrait to landscape and landscape to portrait so when we change our configuration activity will recreate itself in this case all of the composable will recreate itself similarly goes for the collectors and when we attach a new collector to state flow always it emits the latest value and if it emits the latest value you will get all of the previous information which you are seeing in the portrait mode and that's the reason why state flow designed in that manner so that it can emit the latest value to you always but it is not the case for mutable shared flow or shared flow because shared flow is not built to hold the ui states it is built 
टू ब्रॉडकास्ट वैल्यूज और डीलिंग विथ सिंगल टाइम ऑफ इवेंट्स लाइक हियर वी आर डीलिंग जस्ट टू सो वट टोस्ट वी वॉन्ट दिस सिंगल टाइम इवेंट we do not want to show this toast again and again when activity got recreated itself so i think the logic is clear why mutable state flow is designed in such a manner so that it can always emit the latest value and shared flow won't okay now now in this we have emit so emit is a suspendable function you can always use suspendable function within a coroutine that's the reason why i'm using here emit but with try emit you can emit values outside of uh, any coroutine so let's use here emit and in this emit i'm going to emit a ui event dot so what toast increment done now go back to main activity and here just below to our main activity i'm going to create a composable and the composable name is counter screen and in this counter screen we're going to pass few information like we will pass the ui state information and also uh, we want to pass here a lambda on action input is action and output is unit and in this composable i want to use here box modifier fill max size and in this we'll have a column again this column has modifier fill max size its vertical arrangement is on the center and its horizontal alignment is also on the center and in this column we have a very basic text which actually used to show the counter value let me make some space for you use our ui state counter convert this thing in a form of a string just below to it i want to attach here a spacer with a modifier height is 12 dp next we have a button and in this on click will pass our action so on action action dot increment counter and its ui says increase value cool so we are done with this now just below to this i'm going to check if my ui state is loading in this scenario i'm going to use a circular progress indicator that's it and this box has content alignment center okay so we are pretty much done with this counter screen now it's time to use this counter screen within my scaffold so counter screen requirement of counter screen is modifier so pass it modifier padding inner padding we need to pass here our ui state so ui state is present within our view model let's create an instance of it so private wall view model by view model delegate and type is counter view model make sure to import this view model scroll down and in here we have our ui state view model ui state collect this thing in a form of state attached to our composable life cycle simply use it lastly we have our on action view model on action okay so we are pretty much done with it now i want to execute it right so this is our application now when i click increase value it simply increment the value 2 3 4 all right now when i change the configuration you will see we will receive the four this is because our activity got recreated itself and if it is happen composable will re recreate itself again same goes for the collector so when we attach a new collector to our state flow it emit the latest value which is four in this case now go back to your counter view model and here as you can see we have already emitted this so toast event it's time to show a toast in our screen so to do that just come here use launch effect use your view model ui event you view model ui event and attach this uh, flow collection with your life cycle so flow with life cycle and at the top let's use local life cycle owner local life cycle owner dot current and this contains the information about the life cycle local life cycle owner dot life cycle and at the end i want to collect the latest emission views when just target every branch and if it is a case of so toast i'm going to use here toast 
make text let's create a context with the help of local context dot current pass context message is coming in a form of event dot message toast dot length sort and at the end i want to show it all right so let's re-execute our application all right so we can increase the value and see the toast message one more time to see the toast message now when i change the configuration you will see will never receive the toast message this is because shared flow doesn't care at all it simply emit the value only once it will never re-emit the value when you attach new collector as i said to you when your activity got destroyed and recreated itself it simply attach a new collector to your state flows and to your mutable shared flow but state flow is designed in such a manner so that it can emit the latest value to your new collector but shared flow won't in case if you want to receive few events from our mutable shared flow or shared flow we need to use your replay so use your replay one and now when you execute it okay okay let me just use your proper orientation this is my portrait orientation increase the value you will see the toast okay now what will happen if i change the orientation see this time we will retrieve the event this is because we are using here replay one that means it can replay the last emission to our new collector so this is the main difference between state flow and shared flow while both are hot flows but the main difference between them is how they handle when we attach new collector to them state flow is designed to hold the ui state in our view models it is designed in such a manner so that it can emit the latest value to our new collector but with shared flow it is not the case it is totally built to hold one time ui event it can also be act as a broadcast to broadcast messages so that all of the collector can listen it very easily we have few more configuration in shared flow using which we can decide how many latest emission we wanna emit to our new collector and apart from this we can also play with the buffers so that's it for this video i hope you got the clear idea what is the main difference between state flow and shared flow and believe me it's the most important thing to know because i have seen a lot of android developer who are a little bit confused when we were discussing about this state flow and shared flow so yeah that's the main difference between them i hope you enjoyed a lot this video if you did you can write your suggestion on the comment box like this video and also subscribe my channel we will meet our next video where we will discuss something new about android till that goodbye